This is the TV6 Saturday Report. An emotional battle is waged outside Milwaukee clinics that perform abortions. There are verbal exchanges as hundreds on each side of the issue come face to face in the biggest demonstration since the crusade began. Today was the biggest day of protests in the battle over abortion here in Milwaukee. Good evening, I'm Mike Bartley. Julie Feldman has the night off. The latest, most up-to-date count from Milwaukee police, exactly 143 people arrested. And this is an important day for people on both sides of the issue, both pro-choice and pro-life. It was a show of force with the weekend allowing people to protest. And tonight, both sides claim victory. Boyd Hooper covered the pro-choice camp as they set out to keep area clinics open. But first, a report from Julie Feldman, who covered the pro-life point of view. These are the foot soldiers in the battle over abortion. And if pro-life demonstrators had their day of glory, this was it. Their largest turnout at local clinics so far this week. Uh, we came down with uh, our family, and uh, Rose has a question. Rose wants to know why these people across the street want to kill babies. The people across the street were pro-choice advocates determined to keep Summit Women's Health Organization open for business. Pro-life demonstrators moved in waves, crossing the street, dropping to the ground, and waiting for police to haul them off. Many were doing this for the first time, while others were veterans. A mother from Virginia searches the crowd for her daughter, who crossed police lines. There she is, in the pink shirt. It's hard. Hard, too, for pro-choice advocates who huddle around patients, leading them to the clinic doors. Pro-life demonstrators prayed they would stop. And when police chief Philip Ariola showed up, he too became a center of attention. We're saying Ariola stop the killing. Ariola stop the killing. Abortion demonstrations are nothing new to Milwaukee. Missionaries to the preborn do this all year. Yet pro-life leaders were hoping this week of demonstrations would draw new support in big numbers. They say they accomplished what they set out to do, to put Milwaukee on the map when it comes to the issue of abortion. But pro-choice leaders say this week has helped them too. Boyd Hooper has that story. This is for abortion. Only women have abortion. Life, yes, abortion, no. Pro-choice has got to go. For six straight hours, they stood nose to nose in front of Wisconsin's Women's Health Center on West Brown Deer Road, jockeying their signs for position, straining their voices to be heard above the din. Though pro-choice leaders have drilled their supporters to be non-confrontational, at times today there was outright mocking of anti-abortion demonstrators who kneeled to pray. Everyone is not Christian. Everyone does not have their beliefs. And it's important for them to hear what we have to say. Despite the arrest downtown, pro-choice leaders are ready to declare victory. Against all the efforts of pro-life demonstrators, the clinics, they say, have stayed open. Anti-abortion forces may have other plans for Milwaukee, but pro-choice leaders say they are confident the demonstrations have peaked and will lose steam in the days to come. We will be out at the clinics next week as it's needed. Uh, we anticipate that the majority of these people are going to leave. Though conciliatory words are still hard to find, one pro-choice supporter hoped aloud today that common ground will eventually be found. As she put it, we're not getting anywhere this way. Boyd Hooper, TV6 News, Milwaukee. There was one arrest today at the Brown Deer Road Clinic. A pro-choice activist was taken into custody. Police say they arrested the man for disorderly conduct when he apparently blew up a condom in the face of a pro-life demonstrator. Again, another check with the Milwaukee Police Department. The latest, most up-to-date count from Milwaukee Police, exactly 143 people arrested. Summit Women's Health Organization on Water Street was the main target of pro-life demonstrations this morning. Hundreds of people lined both sides of the street as dozens of Milwaukee police officers worked to keep the protest peaceful. 31 of the people arrested today were children. That's fewer than Thursday's protests. Some parents believe it's because the city is citing parents if their children have been repeatedly arrested.
certainly isn't right. I can think of a lot of parents that would be thrilled to have their children have enough moral strength to stand up against murder. This afternoon, several adults were taken to the armory, a makeshift courtroom, to be processed on disorderly conduct charges. Say, obviously, we would hope that no one would have had to uh, be arrested and that no court proceedings uh, would have had to uh, start. Uh, we've had three days now of uh, demonstrations. Uh, it's difficult to assess whether it's been a success. Obviously. So in headline form, here is where the Milwaukee abortion protests stand. About 1,500 demonstrators on both sides of the issue rallied outside three Milwaukee clinics today. Police say they made nearly 150 arrests. 31 children were taken into custody. Clinics are closed on Sundays tomorrow. Pro-life activists say they'll attend a rally tomorrow. Pro-choice activists reportedly have nothing scheduled on Sunday. We're well, coming up on the news at 6, a fun-filled... Two, Two sides of a bitter debate square off at the biggest battle yet over abortion in Milwaukee. In the middle, Milwaukee police who haul off 143 adults and children to jail. Some say the protests are just getting started. Hey, hey! This oh, is for abortion. Oh, Only oh, women have abortion. Life, yes, abortion, no! Pro-choice has got to go! Life, yes, abortion, no! The end of week number one of demonstrations brings nearly 1,500 people from both sides out to protest. Good evening, I'm Mike Bartley. Julie Feldman has the night off. Today marked the biggest turnout yet with 112 adults and 31 children arrested. Pro-life demonstrators attempt to stop abortions. Pro-choice demonstrators attempt to protect abortion clinics. Kelly Swoop reports now on a tense day at Milwaukee Abortion Battlegrounds. Both sides, pro-choice and pro-life, squared off today along Water Street. The target of this protest was the Summit Women's Health Organization. While trying to take patients into the clinic, escorts met with resistance from pro-life demonstrators. But there were dozens of Milwaukee police officers, armed with plastic handcuffs, prepared to keep the protest under control. We didn't experience any problems at all at the um, sites. Like other protests, children were among the crowd of pro-lifers, but today, fewer were getting arrested. Some parents say it's because of the city's latest tactic, fining and possibly arresting parents or guardians if their children have been repeatedly taken into police custody. But the tactic didn't scare everyone. I will continue to teach them to do what is right and do what their conscience tells them to do. And I would still do it because my parents would support me in it. I've been raised pro-life and they, would, they wouldn't have any objection to it. Pro-life demonstrators are upset that parents are being cited for their children's arrest because they feel this creates a double standard. It's not arresting the parents of drug dealers. Why are they arresting the parents of peaceful protesters? Pro-choice organizers believe putting children on the front line is wrong. I am appalled that someone who considers himself pro-life would risk life and limb of their child in order to further their political or publicity gains. Both sides have already declared victory in the battle over abortion, but so far there's no indication that the demonstrations have ended. Kelly Swoop, TV6 News, Milwaukee. And for the record, the fine for contributing to the delinquency of a minor is $109. Police didn't have a total number of parents who were cited today for their children being arrested. Another large demonstration took place today at Wisconsin Women's Health Center on West Brown Deer Road. Hundreds of pro-choice and pro-life demonstrators traded slogans, chants, and prayers for more than six straight hours. Though the mood was often hostile, there was no violence and only one arrest. Police say they arrested a pro-choice activist for disorderly conduct after he waved a condom in the face of a pro-life demonstrator. Both pro-life and pro-choice camps are claiming victory. Tomorrow, pro-life demonstrators will gather for a rally. Tonight, pro-choice demonstrators gathered for what they call a victory celebration. They say their efforts helped keep abortion clinics open despite protests throughout the week. About 75 people attended tonight's gathering. While discussing the week's events, pro-choice organizers also planned counter-demonstrations for the weeks to come. The beating of a Los Angeles truck driver during the L.A. riots... 400 people demonstrated at this clinic. Police arrested just one protester for disorderly conduct. The quieter tone encouraged pro-choice leaders. Oh, absolutely, it's fizzling. I mean, it, they, there has been no effort to get into these lines. Every patient who has wanted access to this clinic has had it. 
But leaders of the pro-life group, Missionaries to the Preborn, say the protests will go on. Missionaries will continue to rescue. They will continue to organize as they have for the last two years. If people come out and join them, that is great. Pro-life leaders say members will next target doctors who perform abortions by picketing outside their homes. And they'll be back at the clinics Thursday. The president.